name is Andrew Oswald. I am John's uncle and Bill's brother. It is my high honor and privilege to officiate this wedding. It's your time, John and Margot. Culminating from that first glance in middle school, your feelings grew into a close friendship during high school. You found that special something that grew into a love great enough to flourish. It is your time, Margo. It is your time, John, to declare your steadfast dedication and commitment to each other, to start your lives together, to build your own unique marriage with the bonds of your love strengthening each other and creating something greater than two of you singly. You are two, with different thoughts and desires, customs, dislikes, and expectations. And if you can still meet each other with those differences, you'll know true love. He can make you laugh at least once, causes you to think twice, and if he admits of, to being human and making mistakes, hold on to him and give him the most you can. The strangers they met in the street, the wide expanses they saw on the walks, the rooms in which they lived or met took more delight in their love than they themselves did. A soulmate is someone who has locks that fit our keys and keys to fit our locks. When we feel safe enough to open the locks, our true selves step out and we completely and honestly who we are. I take you, John, to be my lawfully wedded husband. I take you, John, to be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For the rest of my days. For the rest of my days. I take you, Margo, to be my lawful wedded wife. I take you, Margo, to be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For the rest of my days. For the rest of my days. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring. With this ring, I thee wed. By exchanging of these vows, I now announce you man and wife. John, you may kiss your butt. Turn and face your family and friends. I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Oswald. Looked up to and admired 
my little brother John. Because of the differences in our personality, the things that I see in John that I wish I had had. I really, really love you and I really, really admire and respect you. I'm so proud to be your brother. But I got nothing to lose. It's with great pleasure that I may now present to you Mr. and Mrs. John and Margo Oswald. Anything that moves in my direction Yeah, I'll fall for 